thank you. Thank you. And why thank you, thank you, thank you. Maybelline, I will want you especially to watch the program of the of the afternoon session is an amazing thing. Um, okay. Yeah, I am going to use it to work on when I start a very serious academic work on the origin of species, the original formula. So I'm going to be using that particular program is something that is very special to me. Um, I'm going to use it in a different format. I'm going to just, it will be the same thing, but I'm going to use it in a very different um, uh, format. Yeah. Emily of, um, is it Astoria or Queens? Emily, you always want me to dress up for you and you shall know you specially request for that. Emily of Jamaica from from um, New York. I always make sure that I look good for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she made me promise that I will never be on earth any day of my life that I will not dress up and look good for her. So that's, it. I mean, I'm serious. She put that request in. She asked for that. She put that request in and then she sent some thousands of dollars for me to go and shop. So that's how serious. So she's not just talking. She back it up and say, here is money. Go and shop for the clothes that makes you bling. Go and bling for me. <laughs> I'm serious. She said, I want you to bling, bling for me. If nobody wants you to bling, bling for me, that will make me happy. That's very serious request. And then she's, I thought she was joking. And then boom, here comes some thousands. I'm not talking of 1,000, some thousands. She so said, go and shop and bling for me. I say, this Jamaican woman, you are this serious about this? She said, yep. Because when I saw you in New York, you are the most beautiful thing I've ever set my eye on. I said, yeah, I said, whoa. You know, that's the lady that thought that, yeah, she thought that I was a very short, I was a short, tiny man. So when she saw me that I am 5'9", that's how tall I am, she was looking, she said, I thought you were a little man. That's why I call you my little man. I didn't know you were this tall. <laughs> so that's where the word comes. That's where, that's where we got the word. My little man is because of uh, Emily. That's what she said. I thought you were a little man. You know, you were my little man. Now you are taller than myself. Woo. All right. Tonight, um, we are going to continue where we stopped. Throughout this year, we will be studying, ministering, teaching, and manifesting. Majority of what we'll be doing will be writing and also fasting and prayer. There will be no single day from February to next year February that I will not be in either a short fast or a full fasting. There will be no day. It's because of the heaviness of the yoke and burden that I bear. That's how it is. Um... This year, 2020 is dedicated to somebody. I did not know that each year is dedicated to something or dedicated to a person. I didn't know it until the planet heaven came to me and said to me, 2020 is dedicated 
to the Holy Spirit in your mission on earth. So everything I'm going to do is going to center around him. Then 2021 is dedicated to the celebration of the person of Christ the King. There is so much library in me about the person of Jesus that when I will begin to talk about him, people's mouth will drop. Just crazy things about him. Very serious thing. Then 2022 will be dedicated to the person of the Father. The person of the Father. And 2023 will be dedicated to the angels, although before that time I might have done a lot of work on them already. The angels, the angelic beings. So this is, so you see, they have already mapped out the, the focus of each year for me. So we are starting from Genesis to look at the person of the Holy Spirit, his work, his action in today's world, in ancient, in ancient past and in today's world and into the future, the Holy Ghost. Now, Holy Spirit, I thank you. And I ask you this very day, in what way can we please you? First, as a person, and we as your church, and we as your people, the people who follows Christ Jesus the King. Is there anything that you want us to know? There are so many people in pain, suffering, We are here to bear the burden with you. Holy Spirit, we are here to make you happy. Is there anything you need from us that will make you happy? We will gladly share our money. I will be willing to share the chocolates that Diane sent to me with you. <laughs> I will be willing to share anything that you want on the earth that is in my possession or I can buy for you. My job 24 7 is to be sensitive to what your needs are. Your need and the need of Jesus and the Father and the angels and the needs of the sons and of the world out there. Whether you need a kiss, a hug, to go out for a walk, to travel with you. Wherever you go, I want to go with you. Wherever you stay, I want to stay there with you. That's what we want to do. I want to feel your pain. And I want to enjoy your happiness. I want to share in the ecstasy of your joy. I do not want you to carry your pain alone. That's why I made that statement. If anyone or anything has made you sad today, I am willing to stop whatever I'm doing to give you the comfort that you need. 
if you want a home to live in and to enjoy this place is made for you so you don't lack a place on the earth I'm talking to you as I'm talking to a person because that's who you are you are God you are so massive but at the same time you know how to bring yourself to our particular atmosphere this is what is mysterious and strange about you and Jesus and the Father even though you are in the high and lofty heaven and even though you feel the earth with your person yet you choose to walk with me you choose to walk with your people this is strange this is hilarious this is weird this is fun and this is powerful this is facts I do not want you to be on the earth alone and the father sent me through you you knew me and you knew us long before we knew ourselves this is how mysterious it is in our relationship with you because you are an ancient one you are the ancient one the master builder and in you is life and that is why the church teaches that you are the giver of life ancient scripture says when this spirit is released things are created Ooh. that's what the ancient teaching says please Mary and those who are taking note write it down when the spirit is released things are created we are not just believers we are here for you to manifest and operate in us and through us in the world out there so that we dominate the earth the past 100 years of this earth has been dominated for people who are wicked to you people who are wicked to their fellow human beings and that is why we are here raise the new business people raise the new church people your prophets have fallen by the side and have gone after money and material resources instead of pursuing those things while they are pursuing you do not forget Holy Ghost do not forget that if you feel you don't have people on the earth anymore I am here and we are here for you the women and the main few in numbers you used and you twist and spin history of humanity in such a way that Christianity became the official religion and it became the civilization of the West and the civilization of the East don't forget that you did that and in our generation we are honest people I am honest and those who follow me are honest and you can do a whole lot with all of us from the different nations of the earth
we thank you for hearing us. We thank you for accepting what we have given to you. We have dedicated our lives to you. It's because of you that we operate. I see you smiling. I see you loving. <laughs> we love you. We love you, Holy God. I see you happy. We love you. And that makes me and us happy. Thank you. Thank you. We will make sure that we send you flowers. We will light up candles and incense in the name of Christ for you. We'll make sure that wherever we make our homes, we fill it with luxury because of you and for our enjoyment as well. Amen. 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 Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Did any of you see the way that we pray? Do you see the way we pray? Yes. Yeah. Yes. When you see the when you see the broadcast, you should if I were you, I'll type it out. Mm -hmm. So one of you should type out that prayer and send it to me word by word. That's the way we really pray. You see, it come from the heart. This is is truthful. You mean it. Now we go back to Genesis chapter 1 and we were in verse number 2. Uh, verse 2a, the first part of verse 2 of Genesis chapter 1 talks about a damaged earth, a dead planet. A planet in which because people to whom God rented it out to, loaned it to, gave it to them, they messed it up. And verse 1 and verse 2a talks about billions of years of history of the earth and of the planets. It's amazing because when one you start to look into the first verse of Genesis, you are already talking about the planets, the galaxies. You are talking about the origin of species. The origin of species. How are these things? How did they come about? Who is the source of it? Just for the mere fact that life does not belong to you should tell you something. Excuse me, let me see. Is that a better place to place it? Okay, that's good. We are dealing with a damaged planet. And I was told before I came to this service, before I came to this broadcast, to let you know, if throughout your life, life is chaotic, like he says that the earth became chaos, it became vacant, nobody was here, nothing was here, nothing was alive, no living thing was alive, uh, was alive, allowed to be on earth during this time. A, catast a major catastrophe came upon the earth. A major volcanic eruption, major um, major uh, tsunami, major hurricane. Is it asteroid or meteorite? Whatever it is, you know. I think one of them was shooting from the bombarded the eight. Let's let's call it this. This, in summary, we are looking at the age of bombardment. The earth was bombarded. Make sure you write it down. What you see in Genesis chapter 1 verse 2a is the bombardment. It was bombed. The earth was bombed by several activities from under the earth, from above the earth, within the earth. The sea went wild. The wind went wild. Volcanoes went wild. The earth was bombarded. This is the age of bombardment because of the way it is described. And after the bombardment, the earth lay dead. 
Some people say the ice age is part of this. So the bombardment, the ice age is part of the bombardment. So if ice was also introduced into this, whoa, that's even worse. And these are several, it's not just what happened at one time. These are different histories of the earth put together in a sentence for us. Who bombarded your life? Who did? Because there are times that you don't know while you are going about your business on the earth that somebody else or something else is bombarding your life. Things are erupting everywhere against you. And you have no idea until finally you see things being switched off. Things being switched off. Cancer happening, death happening. Then you begin to sit up and say, what on earth is really going on here? What on earth is really going on here? Something will trigger off things. And that's the reason why you do not have to wait until things are triggered off. Ask the Holy Spirit to make you to be sensitive to the fact that before war comes to your door, Take the war to the door of where the war is about to come out of. Oh, I don't think you hear what I just said. I do not think that you heard what I just said. Before warfare come to your door, go to the doors. Go to the places where the war is being planned against you. Go there and start bombarding them. So while they are in a meeting thinking about you, talking about you you are already bombarding them that's interesting Amen. hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. excuse me Amen. Hallelujah. don't wait for the war to come to your door do it like Europe do it like America does it don't wait Are you serious? <laughs> people are very crazy. A lot of human beings are crazy. Some people want to just talk their way into your life. How are you? Oh, I'm from the same country where you are. And the next day they're asking you for money. Idiots. They think they can talk their way into my, into my life. What have you done for me? That warrants you to think that you are entitled to my money. Must be crazy. If I gave them a piece of job for them to do. Clean my house. Go and do this. Sit down and type a 50 page thing. They run. You want free money. Look at their big old head like cartoons and bubble heads. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Serious stuff, yep. <sighs> so here, do not wait for warfare to come to you. Take the warfare to the door of where the war is about to come out of. Take it there. That's what Elijah, Elisha, that's how they live their life. Don't wait for people to bring the war to you. Take the war to them. Age of bombardment. The eighth was bombarded. Why? I'll tell you why here. The owner of the earth decided to wipe everything out of the earth. This is also part of this, part of what we are dealing with is how the, those we call the demons were punished. 
there was a judgment on the earth on the people on the earth and it affected the earth the earth is not supposed to have been affected but what those who were on it did the earth became a casualty of the insanity of those who were custodian of it and many a times those you associate with will go and mess up and in their punishment you become a casualty and that is why many a time what people did in ancient past still lingers it still lingers and those who are born into it they pay a price for it they become casualties their hands are clean but they are paying a price for what they they did not participate the earth became a casualty paying a price for what she didn't do for what she knew nothing about because of those who were in it so every living thing was wiped out if your life is like that tonight god will deliver you god delivered the physical planet and decorated it again and put it back into shape and make it vibrate awaken it with sound i'll tell you what i was told about the holy ghost and i didn't know this they say how you tell that the holy ghost is there is that he brings the party to that to that place he brings a party to the place they say all these holy holy things we do we don't want to dance we don't want to shout there is a place for quietness there is also a place for shouting it says wherever the holy ghost is he brings the party to that place please write that down that's the powerful key wherever the holy ghost is he brings the party to that place so if you are inviting the holy ghost to come into your home to come into your life to come into your job to come and begin to lead you just be prepared because he's going to bring the fun because there is another name for the Holy Ghost. Please write it down. He's called the Wonderful God of Fun. Capital G-O-D. The Wonderful God of Fun. So those of you who do not understand fun, begin to learn. Because many of you, why you are not married? Why nobody want to marry you? It's not just because you have a shout, big old, big old bomb. Bomb, B-O-M, which means big old mouth. That's not just the only reason. It's because you are not fun for somebody to be with you. Many men are not fun. Many women are not fun for somebody to be with. They dress good, they look good, but they are no good. They talk good, but when you actually begin to be with them, begin to live with them, you realize that they talk strange, they talk weird, and they talk crazy. Because wherever, how you know that this is a Holy Ghost person is that that person, 90% of that person's life is full of fun. This is not about, I want somebody who make me laugh. This is not about somebody who make you laugh. Laughter is part of it. It's a whole variety of things. Whole variety of hobbies. Lots of men are sexual addicts, drug addicts, alcoholics, irresponsible and careless men and women. Why? Because they have no hobbies. Hobbies mean fun. They don't travel. They go from one woman to the next woman, from one man to the... And they think they will, they, will, they will have money. At the end of the day, you have nothing. You spend your life for nothing. You don't know how to have fun. Fun is different from sex. Fun is different from alcohol and drugs. For me, money is fun. <laughs> Write that down. That's a powerful key. Money is fun. I love it. Woo! I love it. Money is fun. <laughs> Remember what money says and what Jesus said. Jesus said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Money turned around and said to me, the guy Mary, apart from me, you can do nothing. That's what money says. Money is fun. 
<sighs> nice cars, fun. Good quality jets, fun. Nice house, fun. Businesses and investment that brings you money, fun. I would like to see some of my partners own their own private zoos with giraffes, gorillas, you know, cheetahs, cheetahs that runs the animals. Have nice, beautiful animals. Have big gardens, farms. Put a whole lot of cows out there, and cow. I, I want, I want to see ancient tradition being brought back. I can't wait to 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 receive a phone call from one of my partners. Oh, I'm flying you out to come and dedicate my mansion. And we are doing a big cookout at the backyard. And the backyard just goes forever. And there are horses for us to ride. All over and take a look at the entire place. That would be nice. And I can't, I can't wait one day. Somebody will call me and say at the back of the house, they've just discovered oil. Or gas. Wow. And I will say, I'm coming there tonight. I'm going to charter a plane and I'll be there tonight. Because we are going to consecrate it. And I'm putting my first thousands for them to come and start drilling. <laughs> Why? Money is fun. Don't forget it. Money is fun. Everybody shout, money is fun. Money is fun. There you go. Good. I believe it. Woo. I believe it. <laughs> receive it. Let, let me bring your let me draw your attention to something you need to be aware of. Since Jesus and the Holy Ghost have always come back to put the egg together. Why does it look or seem strange to you that you cannot be greater than your parent? What makes you think that you cannot break away from the tradition in which you were born? What makes you think that? Because the Holy Ghost is able to resurrect, put back into life a dead planet that didn't have no sun in it, S-U-N. There was no sunshine in, the, in this planet. No stars, no moon. The planetary bodies were not there. No plant, no animal, no crawling things, nothing. No insect, everything died, was wiped out because of the judgment of God. Think about this. Think about this. If and since they were able to repay a damaged planet see how massive the earth is why don't you think that he is able to repay your life because what we see here from from chapter 1 of Genesis verse 2b introduce two things repay Recreative work, reconstructive work, and creation. So some people call it the creation. That's not just creation. Creation really is in verse 1, verse 1. Chapter 1, verse 1, creation. But after that, everything after uh, verse 1, everything after that is reconstruction, restoration, recalibration, Configuration. Restoration is happening. Massive one. And then creation. Because there were certain things that were wiped out. So they have to be brought back. So people throw you out. So that you cease. They, they don't want you to be in existence. So that you don't compete with them. Or things happen between you and some people. And they don't need you anymore. They throw you out. 
they turn their back on you turn their phone off some will go ahead and divorce you behind your back others will fight you until the court decide that you didn't do anything wrong and they give you a divorce some people because you didn't agree with them will take your job away from you they will take your job away and you are jobless and from being jobless you lose your home lose everything that will never happen to you not in not under my watch it's not gonna happen to you yeah there were no beings no creatures no human nothing at this time we've not even started thinking about humans because humans were not yet were not yet made we are talking about other creatures other beings that were here several civilization come and go A damaged earth is now being reconstructed and created again. See the words I use. Reconstructed and created again. Restored. Renewal is about to happen to the earth. Let me tell you what was about to happen to the earth. Spring. Spring and summer happened. In the creative, in the reconstructive and creative narrative that we are seeing in from verse 2 B, from verse 2 B of Genesis chapter 1, it continued. Spring and summer happened big time. Darkness was rolled away. In fact, the earth now is going to be restored back to its normal pattern even far more beautiful than it was so stop just asking to be renewed restored into the old ways you used to be if i were you i would say lord while you are doing that i also want creation to be happening to me there are certain things i was not born with there are certain things i was not born uh, 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 I don't have it. My family don't have those kind of things. I want you to create it into into me. Let me be the first person that you create that into. Because many of you are just asking for renewal, restoration. No, ask for new thing to be created into your life that you didn't have. New things are going to be created into the earth. Certain things will cease from existence. Certain things will go out of existence. Why? Not really needed anymore. Every one of you, in one way or the other, have come through a damaged situation. If, I mean, the eighth in which we live, one way or the other, things will happen. And you better be strong enough to handle it. I have been strong enough to handle the death of so many of my family members. Many of them I knew them friendly. I, I, many of them, I didn't really know what all the relationship was, but they are mine, I was told. There are some people, they drink a glass of, of, um, of alcohol, and by the time you know it, they won two, they won three, they won four. That's not fair. That is not fair. You need to be disciplined. Okay. 
Look at verse number three. And then somebody else is now doing something. And he is saying, Alehim, he shall become light. We want to stop there. He shall become light. So here, the next person of the Trinity is being introduced. Because when you go to the Bible, you go to the New Testament, it tells you in the Gospel of John chapter 1. You go to Hebrew chapter 1. You go to Revelation chapter 1. You begin to see how Jesus partnered with the Holy Spirit. How Jesus partnered with the Holy Spirit in the reconstruction, the remaking, and the creation of the earth. Without the Holy Spirit, you will not be able to do a whole lot. Without Jesus, you will not be able to do a whole lot. For first, you must believe in Jesus, the Son of God. Then, you receive the Holy Spirit. There are times, while the gospel is being preached, or being taught, then the Holy Ghost come, and invade the atmosphere, and take over the people. Why does that happen that way? It means they have accepted Jesus. They believe what is being ministered to them. And the Holy Spirit take over immediately. And seal what is going on. The Holy Spirit, there is no better business person like the Holy Ghost. He has the best construction. So if you want to build, if you want to go into building, real estate, banking, hotel business, whatever kind of business or investment you want to go into, you have to go back to the ancient sources. And the ancient sources is the Holy Spirit. The ancient God that will come into making that thing to happen is the Holy Ghost. That's his job. Tonight, the Holy Spirit is going to invade your life. He is going to remake your life. Even if you were sick, he's going to breathe life into you because he is called the giver of life. Look at the church did not begin until the Holy Ghost came. Whenever in human history you see something is about to change, something is about to take a new turn, the Holy Ghost will appear. When things are so damaged, beyond repair, nobody ever thought of that. You will come out of that situation alive, the Holy Ghost will come. Something is about to happen to your life. What you should do is shout, Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. <laughs> the doctor gave you a yeah, the doctor gave you a diagnosis. This is what is happening to you. You don't like it, stop crying and shout, Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost. No. Something has happened in your family. You have to spend so much money to take care of your siblings. There is no money there. You shout, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Yeah. <sighs> build me a new house. My parents did not build nothing. They had no mansion. Build us something that you yourself will be happy to live in it. That's what you should tell the Holy Spirit. Build me things like it is in heaven. That's what you should be asking for. 
Some of you will go to bed and sleep and somebody will come and draw the architectural plan of your house and show you. And when you wake up, you remember and you will draw it. Somebody will come in your dream and tell you the kind of business that you should go into. They told Jacob about it. Yeah. And Jacob become, he became the father of modern visualization. What you see, you can reproduce. Please write that down. What you see and what you hear, you can reproduce them. And that's how Jacob became wealthy. Joseph had a dream. He saw it. He heard it. He reproduced it. It was reproduced for him. He reproduced it too. We do not want sick poor because God cannot do much with poor people and sick people and people who do not take their relationship with Jesus serious who do not follow Jesus seriously he can't do much with them he can't do much with people who don't want investment who don't want to step in into the business arena he cannot do much with them he cannot do much with people who do not want high style lifestyle who do not want high style high test he cannot do much with people who do not have a massive appetite for for good things great things he, he can't do much with people who do not want big money to build massive story buildings and lease it to hotels to banks to that's what god want god want to turn around and say nancy i am happy with you because you put up that building or you bought that building in manhattan in queens in days in chicago in miami i am happy that you did that because that's my money and here i want to introduce something to you Lucifer could not repair the earth. The demons could not repair the earth. Why? Because it is not in their place. They don't have what it takes to do such a job. They can't do it. Even if they want to, they don't have. It's not, they don't have what it takes to reproduce such things. Those who go to the devil will end up in failure. Write that down. Powerful key. Those who go to the devils will end up in failure. I was instructed a few minutes ago to tell you this. Beginning tonight, ask God to release the money for you to put up massive buildings or to buy buildings to build hospitals stop envying those who are already rich stop envying families who have made it god said that was their turn but tonight the holy spirit has been released anew for you he said i should tell you to ask the department of the treasury in heaven to make moves for you stay up stay up the waters vibrate on the earth for you make moves for you on the earth let a new movement be created for you let something echo for you the holy ghost should echo for you should make sound for you should, should push things for you wherever your files are and they were abandoned and nobody want to talk about you because you are a nobody ask the holy spirit to go and talk on your behalf ask the holy spirit to speak on your behalf there is a sickness in your body that does not want to go ask the holy spirit to deal with it that's what i was asked to tell you next thing ask the holy spirit to go and find where the money that jesus has located for you oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness so Everybody who is born again become an inheritor of houses and money. That's what I was just told. So your job is to ask the Holy Spirit to make the money that has been allocated for you on the earth to spend and to enjoy and to invest that the Holy Ghost should find it, locate it, connect you and connect it to you. 
this is incredible this is incredible everybody shout thank you holy ghost thank you holy spirit You see, when we do this, when we do this, when we ask for this, sickness will flee. From sources that you don't know, money begin to come. Cars begin to come. That's why if you are looking for a house, you've combed and done, or a car you've combed, you've done, you've looked, it didn't work, chill. It means that God is asking you to tell the Holy Spirit to go and look for it for you. There is a place where you go to look for it and the Holy Spirit help you find it. And there is a place where you go to look for it, you can't. That's when you ask him for him to go and do it for you. See, God the Father sent the Holy Spirit to go and do it for planet Earth. To awaken and bring it back to life. That's what the Holy Spirit was sent to go and do. And he came and did that job correctly. Then Jesus now stepped in. In verse 3 of Genesis chapter 1. The Holy Spirit has to go first. That's how it goes. It's the Spirit that make it happen. Not by power, nor by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Lord, I need a scholarship that covers everything so that I don't need money. The money that I need is just for me to accumulate wealth, to invest and reproduce cycles upon cycles of streams of incomes and wealth. That's what you should be praying for. Lord, my children will soon be in college. I want the Holy Ghost to go and make the money available, the scholarships, the this, the that, so that throughout the seven years or eight years or nine years of law school and medical school is already paid for before that child goes into college. That's what you should be saying. I don't come from a rich home where there is money. We don't need to work. Lord, you see that I work like a camel and donkey. I'm the cash cow. But the money is not enough because I'm working for government and I'm working for other people. Therefore, I ask you, Holy Spirit, stop me from being other people's cash cow, being other people's donkey, horses, and camels. Let me actually be like the person from heaven on earth. Because that's where my origin is from there. Hmm, that's good. I got a I got a perfume from France. I think Anne Marie, you will know the name. I don't know how to pronounce it. There is a group in France that produce a new perfume and they send it to me. They say that um that all the flowers uh, of summer, while they were they, 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 before they all began to die out, before winter comes in, they took all the flowers of the field and blend it together and produce this this particular uh, perfume. It's, it's amazing. It's an amazing scent. It's very subtle. It shoots out from time to time from your from your skin. It's just amazing. So, the Holy Ghost is involved in the money-making business. And it doesn't matter whether you have college education, high school education, does not matter in what we are talking about. What matters is, tell the Holy Spirit to look inside you and begin to use what is in you to create things that you don't know how to do it you have no parent to teach you business investment trump had his father teach him this most wealthy kids have their fathers and mothers teach them how to run money they do obama has his mother 
put him on the path of education because Obama comes on his white side, on his European ancestry side, the mother was a mighty person in money and education. She was, she was into e e e e the economic side of education. So, so they, they, have, they have education, the intellectual life as part of their life already. And you see, it's reproducing him. They instill it in him. You should just see it. That's why many a times, if you are a teacher, the possibility of your children becoming medical doctors and lawyers and judges is very huge. Bankers, a president of oil corporation is huge. Teachers always produce a lot of these people. Why? Because they've already instilled it in their children. There is a man who is a cardiologist, a friend of mine, a Kengedem Kufre. I told him, Dr. Kengedem Kufre, he's a cardiologist. I told him, I said, listen, let's reproduce this in the children. And what, what was it that was reproducing the children? Doctors, lawyers, bankers. I don't know what the boy is because I left, I left town before the boy began to grow up to be a man. So I don't know what he became. Who there are some of you if you qualify one of the money you will send to me I will release money from it and do something with it and give it back to you and you will never spend it as long as you live because I must have something in your home that keep drawing and attracting People believe in magic, but they don't believe in miracle. People believe in witchcraft, but they don't believe in the Holy Ghost. People believe in witchcraft and the occult, and they do not believe in signs and wonders. They don't believe in prophetic things and utterances. The Holy Ghost do not want your spot to be empty. You are going to occupy your place of destiny and your place of assignment. Yay. I am thinking Amen. whether I am thinking whether I should gather the women from all over the world to come and hear what God says about them. I'm still waiting to hear how to go about this. Because there's something God wants to tell the women of the world. From all over the world, God wants to talk to the women. And he has filled me with what to tell them. We, uh, Victoria and I, we got the theme, we got the topic, we got it going already. We are now looking for specific direction on how to go about it. And one of the things you guys do not know about Victoria is because she's a woman of faith at the end of the day. That's why when I want to do something that is from heaven, I'll call her. Because she will not question, nor even think about it. She will say, this is from God. And she will jump and automatically start walking. Immediately. Start, start walking. Yep. If you are going to buy a house, go with somebody who is like that. Not somebody who will tell you, suppose this happened, suppose that happened, suppose this happened. Don't just go back. Don't go to that thing because it's going to fail. I'm just letting you know. There have been things that I want to do and I call this, I call that. I asked and they gave me different scenarios. The thing died. And I stopped. Certain mighty things I will call Victoria. Or I will call Mary. Or I'll call one because there are certain people who are faith for certain things. I'll call Vivian or call Roslyn. And if it is the kind of faith they have pertaining to that thing, they will just agree with me and the thing will work. You have to know this. Or I'll call Anne Marie. You have to know this. There are certain things for certain people, certain faith that certain people carry.
Many a time Mary will call and will just say, what about this? What about this? What about this? And the night before, the Holy Ghost was talking to me about that and then went and talked to Mary about it and tell Mary to come and tell me which is she's to confirm. And then we'll just go and do it. Bam! It works. Certain things I'm going to do in the future lies with Nancy. Certain things I'm going to do the next seven years lies with Ladry. So you have to know each person where they fit in in the puzzle. It's not just one person. Certain advancement of what I'm doing that will also advance somebody else's life with Vivian. <laughs> certain gathering, certain gathering lies with Barbara or lies with Zola. You have to know where each person fits in. So that nobody is doing somebody else's job. This one is envying this. This one come to take. Nobody come to take your spot. Your spot is vacant. And you must enter into your spot. Into your assignment. Into your destiny. You must. Things has happened. That has made you remove yourself from your assignment. And your destiny. It's not going to happen anymore. People want you to quit. People want you to commit suicide. You are not going to do that. Those days are over for you. Why? Because the Holy Ghost is here. The Holy Ghost is here. He is going to reconstruct you this year. And He is going to construct you. And He is going to create new things into you. Including your physical beauty. Go and look at my videos. In 2018, 14, 15, 16, and compare it with how I look today. Everyone who were born with me, the 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 in in a ten year period, according to our culture, if you see them, they are already old men and women. Most of them have died. I'm talking of people who were born in the 70s. Many of them are old and wrinkled. Some have no teeth. When they smile, you see their teeth look like the teeth of hippos. God Almighty. That's why I don't even associate with those people. Forget about it. When they laugh, you look at their mouth, they look like Tasmanian devils or demons coming to bite you. God forbid bad thing. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Not me. Forget it. <laughs> I worship beauty. My God. Any of my teeth that is broken, I'm, the next day I'm with my doctor to fix something. Come on. Some people don't even know how to take care of themselves. That's why they are old and wrinkly and, and dying. They don't even know. Many people don't even know they have high blood pressure. Could have been taken care of. It could have been over a long time ago. Or they would have been putting on those tiny little medicines. What is it to take to be alive? Nothing. Some don't even take their vitamins. And devils are coming to attack you in the night and you do not know that what is attacking you is vitamins are crying and telling, take me please, take me please. I need vitamins. Your body is producing those things and you think it's devils. You don't have vitamins in you. <laughs> Next morning you are going to fight with somebody that they came to attack you, they came to kill you. Did you take your vitamins? No. Your body is telling you, giving you messages that you are running, you are running low, you are on E, empty. <sighs> the Holy Spirit said, I'm coming for you. I am coming for you. Because you are precious to me, I'm coming for you. Even though people do not remember you they don't want you you don't fit in i am coming for you and i will make you beautiful again i will make you rich you've never been rich and if you are rich i'm coming to make you richer that's what the holy ghost told me 
If all your life you've suffered from sickness, I'm coming to make you healthy. If you've been envying people who have built structures on the earth, I am coming to make you to be like them. You will also own structures on the earth. Amen. See, it was the Holy Ghost who sneaked in and start putting the earth together. And he has sneaked in to put you together. And also, and also to put people and things in their place he's going to force people to leave you who do who do not qualify to be in your life he's going to force things that is not supposed to be happening to you like when once you get money trouble begins he's going to make those things to stop Amen. when once you have money somebody will come to con you family members will come to you you don't have nothing and they are dancing around you auntie uncle oh daddy mommy and they are scamming you He's going to begin. Let me tell you, I'm serious over what I'm saying. I'm not joking. The Holy Ghost is going to put people and things that are not supposed to be in your life. The Holy Ghost is going to put them where they belong. And if you try to go back to, to them, if you try to go back to those people, because many of you, when you finally got your limo, you finally got your nice ride, you finally begin to have money, you want to go and throw a party and invite the same old demons to come back and come to your party. Let me catch you going to people who've made you suffer. You are inviting them to come and eat and drink in your house. You will see whether I will not put fire on your head. Because that's how many of that's how many of you think I'm going to show them who I am now. Woo! Look at me. I'm dripping in jewelries. I'm dripping with cash. Woo! Woo! Let me go and show them who am I. Woo! Wee! 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 <laughs> and then your exes will come to ask for a second chance, and you will allow them to have sex with you. Like Cardi B sang that she liked to have sex with his with his ex who asked for a second chance. Seriously? 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 The ex that made you suffer, abandoned you with your child, is coming to ask for a second chance. And you open your leg for, my God, I'm going to put, like my dear said, I'm going to put it, I'm going to lose and Home Depot, I'm going to buy a big key and I'm coming to put it around your waist and tie it around your butt and put a padlock on it, tring, 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 and I'll take the key and leave town. <laughs> you can now go to your ex and give them a second chance. Go! <laughs> Yep. <laughs> tring, 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 tring. That's it. Tring, tring. <laughs> yes oh god asks us to be merciful and to be forgiving when they were dealing with you they didn't they didn't think of forgiveness their mothers their old witch mothers mother-in-laws and father-in-laws were dealing with you they didn't remember that the bible says that we must be we must be good people and they dealt with you you want to give them a second chance let me catch you you will see let me pour the wine in here. <laughs> Thank God for Lowe's. Thank God for Home Depot. Thank you, Jesus. They got all the they got all the padlock and chains and keys that I need. They got it. <laughs> You will abandon me after abandoning me. You come back. Let me catch you coming back near my house. I'll put a restriction order on you. Send the big dogs to bite your butt. Yeah. So we have the bread and the wine here. And we ask the Holy Spirit, Eternal Father, we ask that your Spirit come upon this gift 
of bread and wine, that it will be for us a communion in the body and blood of Jesus our God. Done. Everybody begin to pray and ask the Holy Spirit during this consecration, ask the Holy Spirit to do for you what he did to the a damaged planet. A vacant position. Nobody was in it. There are a lot of vacancies on the earth. Things that has never been done before. Lifestyle that has never been created before. Fashion that has never been released. Cosmetic that have never come into existence. Electronics, new cars, new jets, new kind of houses, new kind of shoes, perfume that have never been made. New kind of cell phone that have never been, it has not entered into the heart of man about those things. There is a vacant place and only you can ask to be the first to enter into that vacant position and make money. Begin to pray for it. I am asking you, Holy Spirit, to create that for me. To create this kind of mindset. Pour into me this kind of intelligence. Begin to pray. New kind of real estates. New ways of making money. Ask the Holy Ghost to do it. People have damaged you. Now ask the Holy Spirit to remake you. Tell the Holy Spirit to find you the money that Jesus has given to you. Ask for the money that belongs to you. Ask for the houses, the real estate that belongs to you. Ask for your convenience stores. Ask for the investment that belongs to you. Ask for the cars that belongs to you. Anybody using and occupying what and where belong to you, they should be kicked out. Hallelujah. And now, if you do not have the Holy Communion things, when you will watch this broadcast, you will then do it. Take the bread, break it, and eat it. This is the time to do that. Take the bread and eat. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Then take the, Spirit. take the wine and drink it. We have life because we have Jesus. We have life because we have God the Father. And we have life because we have the Holy Ghost. Lord God, thank you for feeding us. Thank you for generating your life into us. Thank you for the activities of the Holy Ghost. Oh, we thank you that this year is a great year for us. Why? Because we are celebrating the Holy Ghost throughout this year. It is an amazing thing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And I want you, Holy Spirit, to remember <clears throat> how much we love you, we care about you, and we will always be kind to you. And God, I thank you that by loving the Holy Spirit, you are happy. Jesus, thank you that by us loving the Holy Spirit, you are happy with us. And thank you for favoring us. Thank you for making us favored ones. Thank you for making us owners of the earth with you. And thank you for sending the Holy Spirit to come 
reconstruct and to help create our world. Thank you for sending him to come and recreate, renew, reconstruct and create new things in us and for us. We ask all this in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the same Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Ever and ever. Amen. 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 And amen. 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 Good. Yes. Now, everyone who watch this particular program or who have participated tonight, something happened while the program was going on. I don't know why this happened. An angel was sent from heaven during this program with a book to write the names of those who are participating in this conference for some reason i don't know why just as just as when people get born again their names are written in the book of life which is actually is a real physical book made with lambskin that represents Jesus, the Lamb of God. I know you know his book is made with lambskin. It's a woolen lambskin, real lambskin. This is this amazing thing. The names of everyone who are attending these three day fasting are written in a book that is called the Book of Gold. That's what I saw written on the book. The book of gold. Just think about it, what that means. What do you think that means? It's called the book of gold. That's something, isn't it? Yeah, it is. There you go. Those who are going to watch it and they will participate in it and the communion service and they will listen attentively to what was spoken they will be entered into that same book Jesus. so this is and this and i was also told that the spirit of the lord follows this broadcast this is strange i don't know how they do it yeah. but i see my name in the book of gold when you see your name written in the book of gold it means forever and ever no matter what happened you can never be broke again because you are now dealing yeah. with gold when you hear gold gold means money gold means bling gold means riches so while we were in the program they were entering our names into the book of the rich the book of gold it means it's a secret code when you see it says the book of gold it's a secret code for the book of riches or the book of those who are being made rich this is strange this is strange so there is a book of gold this is strange this is strange and lord begin to thank him for putting your name in the book of god lord i thank you for putting my name writing my name in the book of gold thank you for putting my name in the book of gold thank you for putting my name in the book of gold thank you jesus amen and amen Thank you, Lord, for putting my name in the book of gold. Listen carefully. Since your name is in the book of gold, it means, it means you are no more a statistic. You are no more a statistic. You are going to be an institution. Somebody came. You see, the earth, listen to this, the earth could not help itself. The earth could not build back itself. The earth could not remove itself from damage. The earth remained vacant, remained chaotic. 
everything was torn apart. Darkness everywhere. Then the Holy Spirit came to help the earth. See, it comes back to what Jesus told us about the Holy Spirit. He is a helper. He came to help a dead planet. And you are far more important than a dead planet. You are far more important than a dead planet. And that's why your name is written in the book of gold. Good night. I will see you at at uh, seven. I will see you at seven a.m. tomorrow morning central, which is eight a.m. for those who are able to participate. The thing has kicked in full. Here we let's say like Oprah said. Here we go. <laughs> all right good night thank you so much good night god bless all of you amen